Hello, my name is Scott Connemara. I'm from Gardena, California. Oh, I experienced some bullying, you know, growing up, and I kind of didn't trust people, so I, I got this, like, uh, unusual, like, belief in myself. Like, I would just, uh, just, yeah, just trust what I, I thought was right or wrong. When I was 12 years old, I started experimenting with uh, drinking and smoking weed, and, you know, by the age of 14, we were uh, breaking into buildings to vandalize them, and then by the age of 17, you know, I was uh, street, street racing my car on the streets, you know, for side hustling for money, you know. And then by the age of 19, I was starting to dabble into selling cocaine and even, you know, carrying a gun sometimes for protection. And, you know, things just started spiraling more out of control where you know, I ended up doing like multiple drugs at a time, you know, I'd smoke weed, take ecstasy, drink, drink alcohol all at one time, to, and then even drive home like that just for the excitement, you know, and it came to a point when one New Year's Eve where I was really high and drunk and I was laying in bed and the room was spinning and I thought I was going to throw up and <clears throat> I finally, um, came to the point where I was like, uh, you know, okay, God, like, reveal yourself to me, you know, and I, if you do, then I promise I'll, I'll start following you. And all of a sudden, like a couple minutes later, I got this warm feeling over myself. Um, just things was really smooth, and I just fell asleep. And the next morning, I woke up, and you know, felt really refreshed, no hangover, and I, I wasn't sure my car was there because I don't remember driving home the night before, and you know, and it was there, and there was not damaged, and I just remember standing in the garage, going, "Oh dang, man! Now, now I got to try to follow God." I, w I wish I could say, uh, after I became a Christian, it was hap live happily ever after, but uh, no, there's still a lot of challenges and stuff. The hardest, um, the hardest thing to admit is, uh, yeah, I, um, I stole money from a, a, a church, believe it or not. Um, I collected money for a fundraiser and never turned, uh, never turned in the money. Um, with the help of uh, Celebrate Recovery, um, I did. I was able. Twenty years later, I was able to make amends with that pastor. Uh, ask for forgiveness and uh, um, to be 100% honest you know I you know I've asked myself uh, how bad of a person do you need to be that would God really want to even use you by coming here to Saddleback South Bay it was my uh, first step back at, at healing and um, allowing to I guess be more vulnerable, you know, just allowing the church to, uh, yeah, see me, I guess, you know, and um, it was just, uh, it's just been a blessing, you know, I've been uh, helping out with like uh, set up and tear down and, you know, I'm not the most strong or healthy guy, but I just, you know, just try to show up, you know, and um, just try to pitch in here and there. Um, it's been a blessing. Got to know a lot of people, fellowship, and uh, I'm regaining my I regain my trust back in the churches again.